Hi, my name is Randy Rausch, and I want to tell you about an analytic we've deployed to GE's Edge called Melt Pool Monitoring, or our Melt Pool Multivariate Statistical Process Control. It's a fancy way of saying we're bringing our digital technology to added manufacturing to see what's happening during a build, to identify process defects, to help understand our, is the part we're printing a good part so we can save post-processing and inspection costs and increase the productivity of our factory. Again, we're using Edge to, to capture that information. We're sucking in information from our sensors. We're predicting what the value should have been. We're looking at the values were, applying analytics and statistical process control, and that helps us see, yeah, this process is good, we're good here, there are no defects. Uh, as we build on top of that, we can start to detect bad parts and eventually fix any defects as they happen live. That helps improve our quality of analytics, that helps improve the quality of the parts that we're printing, it reduces our cost, and helps democratize manufacturing with additive printing as we bring that digital technology on top of GE's Edge. We're seeing a live stream here of our 3D printer that's operating in another building. Uh, it's building a particular part here, one of our NIST standard parts to prove the capability that we've got. Uh, and our analytics says, hey, it helps us find out where there's an issue in that build. So if we just sat and waited and watched, it would take a while before there would be a process in our build. Our printers are pretty good. Uh, so in this case, we've got a demonstration where we artificially inject a demo. Uh, so when I push this button, it will dim, it will send less power out of the laser. I'm going to crank it way up so you can actually see it happening, just so you can prove that it's a live demo. Uh, so when our laser turns on, again, I'll inject. The rest of the system doesn't know this is happening, uh, and it's a way to exercise our sensors doing the right thing. So you see our laser's happening here. I can dim it, bring it way down. You should see it's dimmer. Um, as Right, as I, I let it go, you can see the laser come back on, very dim. So I can inject a much smaller thing that might be characteristic of a process uh, that we'd want to catch. The, the human eye may not see it, uh, but our analytic will see it. So we inject these disturbances. Our sensor is watching it this whole time. We'll bring that sensor data out compared to what it should have been to identify those process defects. Uh, and we'll start to see then the maps in the background of, hey, there was an error in this particular layer, this particular part, there was something that wasn't quite right. That's going to be a problem. You may not want to add all the value in post-process and inspection. Let's go ahead and build another part. Um, so that increases our, it gives us more capacity, helps us understand uh, what's going on so we can fix any long-term problems, uh, and reduces the cost of printing. So this is the overall dashboard screensaver view. You have the stack light over here that tells you the status of your overall build. And then in the middle, you have the status of each individual layer. So green showing you that that layer is good. The orange that's overhanging here would tell you you have a warning. And then if there was an error here, it would be a red line. It would be overhanging here. And then on the right here, you have the um, process, or the progress, excuse me, of the actual analytic. And it tells you what it's doing. Then if you click in, you can see the uh, more detailed dashboard view. And so you have some more information about your build here, and then more information about the errors and warnings over there. And then if you need to do some uh, further troubleshooting, you have build, build details. You have all of your parts, all of your layers. And if there is an error or a warning, you can click in and see the actual chart for that specific part in that specific layer. So that's the new UI.